Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Shannon McEwen. I'm with IMS Engineering for more than 20 years. I look after some of this capital equipment sales. Um, and I'm going to present today on the Pebble Crusher solution from IMS Engineering. Um, so Pebble Crushers, the place that a Pebble Crusher is used is in typically incorporated with AG and SAG mills. And its job is to reduce the oversize to a size below the critical size um, for, and then reintroduce into the feed end of the mill. So pebble crushers come with some unique challenges or pebble crushing comes with some unique challenges um, and they are listed as follows is one is the material hardness so the pebble crushers are the remnants of the mill they they've survived the mill and they're the super hard material and they are generally much harder than specified um, in, in to us when we receive a specification for for a a crusher generally much harder. They have a particular shape, they're round and difficult to nip. As you can see in the picture, the, the um, pebble shape quite round. The feed material size is often larger than specified, uh, um, and that's typically due to wear of the pebble of the of the mill grates. Um, so the the, mill, the size will grow over time. The feet material preparation, often the, the material comes to the pebble crushers full of fines and with a high moisture, and this makes the pebbles, they round and are really difficult to nip, makes them even more difficult to nip. And then the feed material condition. Um, uh, crushers or, or cone crushers are generally run um, choke fed to give them to produce the best crusher performance. In pebble crushing, there's normally big fluctuations in the feed level and therefore choke, choke conditions are not always um, achieved. Uh, and this leads to unstable um, uh, operation and poor crusher performance. The other thing is if uh, if not feeding into a, a, a full crushing chamber, we often get material segregation. And these two things um, lead to uneven wear uh, in the crushing chamber. And that reduces the liner life because the, the wear will be such that we cannot maintain the gap setting um, and the we don't have an accurate gap. And then you have to change the liner prematurely. And so that reduces, it increases the or reduces the liner life. The other problem with pebble crushers is often the feed will contain some grinding media from time to time. And the crusher has to be robust enough to be able to deal with this. Um, impact as well as have the right kind of um, protection to, pr to protect the crusher from, from damage. So all this results in machine overload uh, conditions, um, mechanical failures, low throughput due to not being able to maintain the, uh, the gap setting, um, increased line OPEX and out of specification product. And so, um, Earth Technica company, um, with which the brand Kawasaki comes from, which is what IMS, who IMS work with, um, IMS and, and Earth Technica company developed the uh, together the Kawasaki Pebble Crusher solution. And that what that requires is, uh, first of all, a machine with an extremely robust design um, to start with, um, special finite element analysis. Uh, was used when I say special for special conditions, specifically around uh, um, uh, pebble crushing, and the FEA was done to optimize the the stress areas and make sure that we achieve a design um, with the adequate strength. The other thing that was was done was uh, a unique liner profile was developed for uh, pebble crushing. The liner consists of an upper section and a lower crushing section. The upper section acts as like a storage. So the pebbles will um, be stored in that area, and therefore kind of kind of achieving a, a choke feed condition at the point of crushing. It, and um, so that the pebbles also can nip high 
high up in the crushing, in the lower part of the crushing chambers, um, crush the inlet, if you like, and then um, crush down to, to the outlet of the crushing chamber. The other thing that we that we take advantage of is the cur curved crushing chamber design of the um, Kawasaki crushers. This the curve is the shape is optimized um, along with the, um, uh, the the profile of the, of the crushing chamber um, inners, uh, and we also supply the uh, pebble crusher with grooved what we call MSI liners, which are basically grooved mantles and concave. Um, that is achieved by casting special metal inserts into the manganese material. And what happens is the special mat uh, material between the manganese material will wear preferentially up to a point where by its relative depth, it becomes in inverted commas protected. And what that does is it, uh, it creates these grooves which are then maintained for the life of the liner. So you'll see on the on the in the drawing on the right top side, you'll see a partially worn liner, and you'll see that the profile is maintained until such time as the liner is completely worn out. These grooves assist uh, in nipping of the round pebbles, but they also impart different uh, crushing forces. So it's not just the compressive force; you also introduce some tensile forces and some shearing, which means that the pebbles will reduce at a low input power. So um, the, uh, it, it's just a more and more efficient um, crushing. The other thing that was done is the crushing chamber design was made very steep, which what that does is it takes, alleviates some of the pressure on the hydraulic, hydraulic cylinder because the Kawasaki is hydraulically supported um, crusher and increases the force between the mantle and the, and the concave. So, um, case studies. I'm going to go through two case studies, um, and they both, if looked at together, will emphasize the benefits. Well, the first one is a large uranium mine in Southern Africa, where we installed two Kawasaki pebble crushers um, to a sagmal circuit. The work index, index specified to us, the supplier, was seven kilowatt hours per ton, but the actual measured work index in a test um, that we did was 34.5 kilowatt hours per ton. That's nearly five times harder than specified. And these are the kind of uh, problems that, 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 that need to be, or the challenges that need to be taken uh, into account is that the hardness of the material is not always known and often specified to a so-called normal rock, um, but these are pebbles. The other thing is the feed size specification was 75 millimeters when the actual, uh, actual measured size um, was 105 millimeters, which is 40% 40, 40 larger than specified. The challenge was that the pressure would often was specified that it wouldn't run in, in choke feed conditions and could include grinding media. The specified performance that we had to achieve was to achieve a P80 of 12 millimeters. So that means 12 millimeters, 80% um, passing 12 millimeters, and the specified capacity was 150 tons per hour. The measured uh, um, performance of the machine was a P80 of 13 millimeters, and we achieved a capacity of 240 tons per hour in, the, in this application. The mechanical integrity, the, the crushes, obviously, um, in pebble crushing, you have this extreme hydraulic pressure due to the hardness of the, of the, of the pebbles. And this gives you often these upset conditions where the pebbles um, break and then the, you get some jumping around and so on, and that can lead to damage within the crusher. However, um, in looking at the return strainer, we see we saw that there was no particles, and this indicates good health. In fact, the only failure we had was two hydraulic pipes or a hydraulic pipe in a two-year of operation. The second case study was a gold mine in Australia. Uh, we installed two pebble crushers. One pebble crusher was fitted with a um, high pressure cone pebble crushing special liner and the other was fitted with a standard standard cyber um, uh, cone crusher liner and here we introduced the concept of uh, crusher set under so the set under is the percentage of part of of product smaller than the crusher setting typical crushers 
in such applications achieve about 30 percent, uh, 30, I mean, sorry, I repeat, 60 percent um, for this type of application. Um, by improving the set under, what we're able to do is generate more final product um, in, the, in the past through the machine. We, we lower the recirculating load as a result, and we reduce um, the work, um, the sorry, I've just the wear cost. So in the with the Cybersar, the standard Cybersar cone crusher liner, we achieved a set under of 78%. And with the improved high pressure um, cone configuration of the pebble crusher liners, we achieved 95%, which is a 22% improvement. Um, and so in summary, the, the, the close out setting for the two crushers was the same. The hydraulic pressure in the high pressure cone, uh, high pressure liner was much higher as it would be expected with the increased power for the same throughput, but the, the amount of material produced was higher. In other words, we produced a much finer product. So we efficiently used the available energy um, to produce this final product at the higher at, at a higher or at the same capacity, so it translates into a better crusher performance. And that is how we achieve pebble crushers that work. Thank you very much, and uh, I appreciate your time.